bonus shells are jointly manufactured by Bofors Defense and Giot Industries under the most exacting conditions. These rounds are currently being evaluated by the U.S. Army to determine their effectiveness for use with all 155mm howitzer systems. In order to demolish a target, modern artillery requires an extraordinary degree of coordination. Three elements are especially important. The howitzers and other weapon systems are the artillery's muscle. The fire direction center, or FDC, is the brains of the artillery, conducting the actions of scattered artillery batteries. And finally, artillery radars and forward observers serve as the eyes of the artillery. For the artillery to deliver its fearsome firepower accurately, all these systems must act in unison with one another. We have to have good directional data, and our survey teams do that for us. Uh, we also have the people that have to maintain the artillery systems, uh, our mechanics, uh, and that's a very large aspect of our job. We have to have meteorological data, weather data, that, en that enables us to know what's going on uh, in the environment that the projectile is flying through, and we have metro systems that do that. We have target acquisition capabilities such as our radar systems, and they're a very important part of, uh, of the artillery uh, total systems approach to getting our job done. The basic unit of the artillery is a platoon, generally consisting of four howitzers. Coordinating this platoon is a fire direction center located nearby. For the fire direction center to provide accurate targeting instruction to the howitzers, information on the enemy's position is vital. Target data can be gathered from a wide range of sources. The location of enemy artillery is determined by the firefighter's radar. This radar can track the flight path of incoming artillery and then calculate the location of enemy positions. During the 1991 Gulf War, this radar was able to determine information so quickly that the U.S. artillery could open fire on Iraqi artillery positions even before their incoming rounds had landed. For targets closer to the battle line, fire support teams provide key data. These forward observer teams can be on foot, but in maneuver units, they usually go into battle inside the Fist V vehicle. The Fist V is the fire support vehicle that houses the eyes of the artillery. The fire support officers who travel with the, the mechanized division, the armored division, it has a laser system that enables them to spot the target, determine a bearing, a, a direction to that target, and then a range to that target. It gives us greater accuracy. It gives us greater mobility. The communication systems that are inherent to that system give us better command control capability with that system. It is the coordinated action of the fire direction centers, the target acquisition systems, and the artillery batteries themselves that make modern artillery so formidable on the modern battlefield. Rocket artillery is as old as gunpowder itself. There was a revival in the use of rockets for artillery during World War II. This German multiple rocket launcher is a forerunner of today's rocket artillery systems. 
Multiple rocket launchers can bombard a target with high explosives in a matter of seconds. A single vehicle has the simultaneous firepower of a whole battery of conventional guns. The South African Battle Lure is a good example of this type of weapon. Firing a 122 millimeter rocket to a range of a dozen miles or more. The Battle Lure's wheeled chassis allows it to deploy rapidly over great distances, delivering its powerful barrage anywhere on the battlefield. An even more powerful weapon is the U.S. Army's M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, which is mounted on a tracked chassis. Each MLRS launcher is equipped with 12 rockets. The rockets are armed with 644 submunition grenades. A single rocket from an MLRS can devastate an area the size of a football field. MLRS launchers carry onboard navigation systems. At the beginning of the mission, the MLRS crew drives up to a pre-surveyed spot where it obtains its location data. From that point on, the navigation system keeps precise track of where the vehicle is located. When the target data is received by the MLRS launcher from the fire direction center, it is entered in the vehicle's computer, allowing the launcher to automatically target enemy positions. Due to automated loading of its ammunition, the MLRS can operate with only three crewmen. This small crew can deliver firepower that would have required an entire battery of World War II artillery. In early 2003, the U.S. Army fielded upgraded MLRS in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Artillery is one of the oldest and most traditional weapons of land warfare. As simple as the basic weapon may seem, technology has revolutionized the firepower of the artillery strike. Advancements in computer controls, navigation systems, radars and ammunition have ensured artillery's central role on the modern battlefield.